All right, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming, and we are in the Rock City, Detroit. So we'll take on the Detroit Tigers here at Comerica Park, and we'll be facing as a starter Casey Mize, 2.72 ERA, 1.1 WHIP. He's got 50 strikeouts through 76 innings. We'll also be facing a former Blue Jay. Didn't spend a lot of time here, and according to reports, Chris Rodriguez might be on the way out. Maybe getting replaced as ERA is pretty high, and so is his whip. Might be going down to AAA. Kind of depends on how he plays in this one, and we start off with the first batter. He's going to get him a strikeout. Great way to stay up at the Major League level. Get guys out. Gamer Candelario is going to Looper right in front of Chapman, but he is going to be able to have the strong enough arm to throw to first. <clears throat> Looking at this Detroit lineup, former Blue Jay Josh Bell is there. Now, we didn't feel the need to re sign him. I mean, come on, we knew that Vlad was coming back. He got hurt last June. As a matter of fact, it is literally a year to the day in which he injured his Achilles. So it's good to have him back. That's Spencer Torkison, the man who robbed Manoa of the 2022 AL Rookie of the Year award is going to get sat down thanks to Rodriguez. All right, Madrigal is going to be the better. Again, any games in the month of June is a one and one affair. In other words, you'll be seeing the starting pitcher. You'll be seeing one of the hitters, you know, from hitting can and whatnot, and anything other, anything else you might see is just going to be AI played. Right, Tapia has an opportunity to, you know, actually get a hit. He has not been hitting well. Matt Chapman is on deck and he now has a full count to his name. 3-2. Oh my goodness. Split finger fastball throws him way off. He'll be sat down with we'll final out of the second. Javi Baez, former MLB The Show 20 cover man, is going to hit it to center field as Baroa is playing center field because, well, George Springer has been out for a couple days with a finger contusion, and I didn't think it was that bad of an injury, but this ball is going to get hit into center field. Baroa is going to have to retrieve it. Fortunately, Josh Bell is not faster than what he is, or he would easily have a triple in such a cavernous ballpark. Riley Green batted very well, swings and misses despite having a runner in scoring position. He'll be sat down via the strikeout. Jonathan Scope. I didn't think they would re-sign, but oh man, he gives Rodriguez a ride to left. Some Detroit fan is going to get themselves a free baseball. His eighth of the season going 406 feet. That'll give Detroit a two to nothing lead early on. Jump to the third, Badu. It's a rainbow to right. It's Guriel unable to retrieve it, and that'll be a single. Now batting, third baseman. Game of Candelario, full count. Swing and miss, strike out the throw. Ooh. I think there was a bit of an issue on the transfer from Glove to hand as I think it dropped in front of home plate. So was Kirk was not able to get the ball out of his hand fast enough. Torkelson has an opportunity to drive in run three. And he looks like he's gonna do so. This one is gonna go up the middle in the center field. And he'll come around the score. It is three nothing Detroit. 2 0 count. Ball hit right at Magical. Great reach out. To make the catch as Josh Bell. I'm sure he wants to exact some form of revenge. He was looking for about $12 million in the offseason. And I got to be honest. I can't pay $12 million to a guy who at least isn't going to be the DH. And it, it would have been nice to have the switch hitter back in the lineup. But had to decide against it as Chapman. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Listen, we know you got a strong arm. But you're going to chill, man. Easy toss it right to second. Get the double play. We'd have had it. Now we play Jonathan Scope. Oh boy, he's already taken Rodriguez deep. He's just going to add a five RBI game to his name. He will not, but it's going to be a ground ball into right field. Guriel, one of the stronger arms in our offense. And we're going to talk to this individual. Listen, you need to get it together. 
ignore the rumors, do what you need to do on the mound. And unfortunately, he's got a bases loaded situation. Jake Rogers is going to hit his sinker to right field. Gurio will make the catch. Fires back into the infield. It'll go to the plate. And Kurt, oh, ooh, just misses a double play. Oh, man, 4 nothing, Detroit. Castro, pitch in the dirt, a curveball. Oh. See, Rodriguez has good stuff. He doesn't necessarily have the best of control, especially with the curveball. Fastballs are going to get hit because fastballs are fastballs, but the circle change, if he hangs it too high, he's going to get smoked out, as you saw earlier. His fastball, if he leaves it too much over the plate, he's going to get smacked out. So he's really got to learn how to pitch and not just throw hard. As you can see, his four seam and his sinker both get up above 95 miles an hour, which is good. But if you can't control it, you might as well Leading take that down some. The second base. Unless Nick Magical will lead off the top of the fifth. Down 0-1. Casey Mize still on the mound. Pitching a shutout. And Magical is going to lace one to left field for a single. Up next. Top here with an opportunity to drive him over. And he cannot do so as he strikes out yet again. This time on the four-seam fastball high in the zone. Chapman gets a shot. He's going to pull a sinker to third. Candelario throws it a little too low for Baez. Both runners will be safe. And actually, both runners will move up two bases. That is some hella aggressive base runner. I don't know if I would have done that, but hey. Take chances, make mistakes. That's what Miss Frizz will say, right? Alejandro Kirk has an opportunity to give us the lead, even if he doesn't get a hit. Not the lead, sorry. Get a run. And, ooh, Josh Bell. Showing off the great glove he has there. Not the best the field is at first, but I mean, he can hold his own there. First base, corner outfield. Pretty versatile dude, I'd like to say. And unfortunately, we're going to get a pop-up from Baroa. The rookie also has not hit very well. We may be thinking of sending him down. The problem is we need outfielders. All right, Nick Madrigal, what an opportunity to at least get us on the board. Now, he's got three home runs. He didn't hit any last year at all, which is crazy. As he's really more known as a contact hitter. Curveball misses outside. It's 32,905 individuals have shown up to this ball game as their team is up six. He's got 102 pitches, and it's a liner right at first, and everybody's going to get back. Ooh including the runner on first, and that is a bit of a wasted opportunity as now a base hit will be needed for a run. Espinal takes the four-seam fastball, 95, as I guess Detroit's manager is just saying, yo, just go out there, finish this game. He's risking giving up a run as he's supposed to be hit in front of the right fielder, Green. Green ends up scooping it off his stomach and into his glove, throws it to the plate. Not in time. Will it be a little too little too late for the Toronto offense as they are now down four? Detroit will switch pitches and go to Drew Carlton. He has a 1.0 ERA in six games. Slider outside corner gonna make it three and one. I am surprised Chapman didn't just slap that one the other way. Dude, y'all have to be a bit more aggressive. And Slider tries to go back to it. Cannot connect. Bases are loaded yet again. Kirk has an opportunity to tie the ball game if he can hit a long ball. And I got to admit, he is one of the hottest hitting catchers in all of baseball. Hell, hottest hitting players in all of baseball. He's hitting well over 300 thus far in his limited plate appearances. First pitch from Carlton. Slider going to get demolished to right. But no, it's right at right. Now. Uh, a little disappointing there as we jump to the ninth. One out. Marte hits this one to left center field. Running back. It is going to be caught. Damn. That being the second out may have really snuffed out the opportunities for Toronto to make the comeback. Flag Guerrero comes up to the plate. One for eight this series. But it's at least driving in some kind of runs for the offense. Only anybody else decided to contribute to this. Slider! Gonna be swung and miss. 
Detroit takes this first game of the series. Six to two, Casey Myers, seven and two thirds, seven hits, five strikeouts, two walks, two on runs. We keep teeter tottering back and forth between 500 and not at 500 and a little above 500 and a little below 500. We really need to hit a hitting streak, a winning streak. Josh Bell, number two and might be number three in the first base AL All Star voting. Behind guess who? Vlad Guerrero Jr. Now, this would be a, a legitimate All Star appearance for him if he does make it, and it is possible he can be there as an alternate. Remember, he technically made it last year due to the fact MLB the show has a glitch where if you saw the glitch, we traded for Bell in July. He's gonna hit one to left field. Marte gonna make the low catch at the shins for the out. And so yeah, Josh Bell, about his all-star appearance, didn't make sense. There's a glitch where if you trade a guy and they play the same position as somebody else, they somehow take over the same voltage, which doesn't make sense. Anyways, Alec Manoa gets a strikeout on Jonathan Scope, so he can't take us deep like he did in the last ball game. Riley Green, ground ball of first, Guerrero. Scoop it on the backhand, tosses it to Manoa, covering first for the second out here in this Got set in it. Jake Rogers. I think he's the catcher? I can't remember. Ooh, hits one high. Deep. Marte having to run a ways. And unfortunately, it's going to die at the warning track. To end the second. All right, Jansen will be the individual who you will see his plate appearances from my view. 242 average, one home run, seven RBIs. Scoobal is not liking that baseball. The very next pitch of his is going to get smacked at dead center. Running back, it is going to just miss being a home run. It's going to be a really long double. His eighth of the season. He's not hitting for power, but he's not really driving in any runs. Granted, he was hurting them. Baroa continues to look silly against Major League Pitching. Magical gives this one a charge. Remember, he's not a power hitter. It's going to bounce twice on the grass, roll up against the quick pitch sign. And he's going for three. And throw back in the scope. Scope will just throw it home. That was weak. Anyways, he'll end up with an RBI triple given to Ronald a lead. Vlad has an opportunity to give us yet another run as I like insurance runs. 0-2 count. Scoop ball. The pitch. Fastball. Gonna get hit to center and right of center, that is. This should be more than enough for Magic on the tag. He will do so. The overthrow. He is safe. Ronald leads 2 nothing. 3-2. Circle change. Manoa really been... Trying to use that pitch just a little bit more as an out pitch. The pose are throwing, guys. Oh, God. Fastballs. Jeez. That circle changer in at your kneecaps, dude. And Kriegler. Going to ground it to his own position. Short. Fires the first. Noah gets out of three. Swing and a miss. Yet another strikeout. Three out of four batters thus far from Manoa. Make that two in a row. And the circle change, and Manoa does it yet again. Streaks out the side to end the fifth. I think he's a little pissed off by winning, not winning that rookie of the year. Now, he might not win the side this year, but he's pitching very well. And Detroit going to end up with a lead off double to start the sixth. Ooh, just barely gets in there in time. That's really casual with his double. Yeah. Chad Pender with an opportunity to at least move him over. A 1. 69th pitch. is nice enough to at least get an out. Ground ball out to first. Creedler is a rookie. I'll just show you his numbers real quick. Better against lefties. Very good fielder. 25 years old. Solid speed. He may become something in this league. Um, just a matter of him getting it. Bringing it all together, but unfortunately, he's going to strike out in a scoring opportunity situation. So, so leave it to a vet. Derrick Hill, ground ball to third. Chapman, 
A light toss to first, a little too light for my liking, but it gets the job done. Jackson, another opportunity to drive in a run. If he can hit another double, it'll be four to, oh, oh, oh. Dude, that swing might be why you're on the trade block. On one, chopper to third. Candelario not throwing home and will force the Detroit offense to need four runs. We do get one. Jordan Romano on the mound looking to get Scope to sit down and ground ball the first. Guerrero will step on the bag and we will take this one four to one. 